Okay, what's up guys? So, I know that I made a video here and I uh, posted it to this channel. And uh, it was almost two months ago now. And uh, I did spend a lot of time and energy and effort and everything else into it, which is great. Um, but it wasn't really uh, that much. I mean, it's more than I would if I would just sit here and talk to the camera like I am now. Um, but it wasn't really like a ridiculous amount just because it was spread out over many days and um, it has been over two months and I've been working on mostly videos with my son so uh, what I'm thinking about doing is not posting those videos with my son because it's mostly him just playing uh, stuff that he likes to play with like monster trucks and all this other stuff so uh i'm not gonna go ahead and post those videos here uh i think i'm gonna go ahead and post them on a brand new channel that we created because it's gonna be mostly about him and so uh what i'm gonna be doing on this channel is going to be talking about those videos and other things that are going on in my life and uh, my family's life basically and so yeah I mean the videos that I'm posting on there are uh, it are gonna be mostly about uh, just playing with kids so it probably is not gonna be for you it might not be something that you're looking for I'm not sure exactly what it is that you guys are looking for but I'm gonna be here one way or the other and uh, I know when my kid watches YouTube He's looking for uh, someone to play with, right? Because I'm working and uh, my wife is usually uh, either working or doing things around the house. So uh, for him, he just likes to be inspired to be able to do something and play, right? Because he doesn't really know what he wants to play. Uh, I mean, he has an idea, but he just really likes that whole uh, factor of sharing you know sharing with someone and uh, and that's what we're gonna be doing we're gonna be sharing uh, with everybody else what it is that we're doing so that other people can be inspired as well and so yeah because most of my life and every pretty much waking hour in my life is about supporting my family and making money basically to support my family and then, uh, which I just basically just deliver groceries and stuff. And uh, I don't do anything like other than delivering groceries and uh, doing like uh, electrical stuff. So I'm like a handyman type of person. And uh, that's what I do pretty much every day. And so uh, I don't really, I don't really see that as an investment. You know, it's a transaction. It's a good transaction between individuals. Like, hey, I need something done, so can you go ahead and do it for me? And I'm like, yeah, I'll do it for you, no worries. And so I'm just helping people in that way. Um, furthermore, though, I don't wanna just help one person uh, or two people or even 10 people a day. I think it's much better if we can help more people, right? Um, serve more people. And so, um, the best way to do that, I think, is through YouTube, you know, uh, because it's timeless, for one. So anybody can always go on there and at their leisure, on their own time, they can go on YouTube and look for what or find what they're looking for, you know, look for whatever they want and then eventually find it. That's what Google is all about. So um, if, if you don't want to, uh, you know, look for something then don't I mean it's, it's as simple as that the way I see it but I don't want to just look for things I want to give people things to uh, look for you know and to find and to interact with and to have fun you know and to experience their lives uh, I think that uh, there's a lot of uh, different if you watched my video recently the one that I uh, posted it was called uh, anime powers and hidden applications if you couldn't tell I'm a big anime fan and when it comes to life I mean there's so many different uh, ways to live you know 
and people do things for different reasons. And what I've found in my life is that the most satisfying thing is to do things for the right reasons and also to, or at least it's not only satisfying, you know, selfishly, but it's also what works, you know, and what actually uh, lasts for a long time, you know. So um, I think that's what I'm, I'm in, I've been thinking about. I've been thinking about things that are not just my life, but also, you know, my kid's life and also my grandkid's life, you know, whenever that day comes and everything else. So it's all about, uh, you know, it's about, I like playing video games. I like um, watching uh, anime and, you know, there's a lot of characters, right? There's characters in video games, there's characters in anime and that's what it's about. It's about character. It's about having character. It's about being not being a character but also just not playing a character but just being that doesn't make sense but anyway <laughs> i think you know what i'm saying having that whole uh concept of things and for a long time i didn't know uh about this you know maybe because i did not have anybody to teach me these things uh about uh uh life and different ways to live it and you know for a long time for me it was mostly about what do I want and uh, you know how can I make myself feel better but I mean when you make yourself feel good and uh, I mean eventually good only gets as good as it gets you know and then it's like okay well what else can I do and then you know and then it's like okay well you know it, it, it just runs out eventually so uh but other people i mean there's so many other people that you can help and it i mean and they feel good and so it makes you feel good and so i mean that feeling pretty much never runs out so um it's different but yeah that's pretty much what i've got i think i'm not really uh wanting to get too much into the uh different dimensions or frequencies that we can uh, experience as human beings. But I think if you are looking at this channel and you subscribe to my channel, which I'm very thankful for, I think we're at 139 subscribers right now. And uh, I couldn't, I don't know how, how else to express my gratitude. Um, what I will be doing soon, um, I've been waiting months and months and months for this guy, Mind Over Matter, okay, I think his name was Mind Over Matter CB, to go ahead and reach out to me so I can give you your $100. Dude, what are you doing? Why are you making me sit on this $100? I don't want it, it's yours, okay? I'm trying to give it to you, okay? You earned it, you were my 100 subscriber, and now you need to go ahead and communicate with me so I can give you your money. It's not my money anymore, it is your money, okay? Listen to me, you need to hurry up and find out that you can actually receive money from somebody on the internet. And if you need to make a, a fake email and a, a, a brand new PayPal account, okay, I don't care, okay? Just do what you need to do and I will send you the $100, okay, it is yours. And if, and if you don't, okay, here's the thing, here's the reason why I've been waiting so long. If you do not reach out to me, I will give it to somebody else. Okay, I'm sorry. It is what it is. I will give it to somebody else because, dude, it's been like months now. Okay, I don't know what else to say. Okay, so come next year, January, probably like January, maybe February, I will give it to somebody else. I will probably give it to like just the most recent subscriber, you know? So if you don't, but if you do, then I would love to give it to you, Mr. Mind Over Matter. Okay, so. With that being said, if you are on this channel, I know that you, most of the people that found out found out about my channel and found me on YouTube and everything is because of the Gateway Experience. And that's what I wanna give credit to uh, everything that I just said earlier in this video about uh, becoming more conscious, you know, expanding our awareness of the reality of who we are and what we are here on Earth to do and all this other nice fun stuff so you know if you haven't seen any of my other videos go ahead and check those out and no, i'm just kidding um i know i pretty much uh did like very formatted videos in the past 
when it comes to uh, my gateway experience and everything else. And that's because it was a routine. It was an exercise, okay? It's like when you go to the gym and you want to focus on a certain uh, muscle group, then you go and you do that exercise and you do it over and over and over again. And the way you do it, uh, you want to increase the level of difficulty by increasing the weights. And uh, yeah, um, that's what you do when you go on uh, to the gym. But then when it comes to your mind and your awareness, most people don't do that. Most people are just on one or two frequencies, either uh, beta or alpha or uh, theta when they're sleeping and ha dreaming or delta when they're sleeping and not dreaming, right? But then there's other frequencies, okay? There's other ones like gamma, okay? And, uh, uh, and I think it's really important to become aware of the shift between those things. And so, um, yeah, that's what that was for. It was, uh, and I'm, I'm still doing it, okay? The only reason why I'm making this video is because I just did my gateway experience, but I did the free flow 10. So it's not as regimented, okay? It's not as much as a, of, a, of a routine or of a, of a doing it the same way every single time. So with that being said, I'm not going to be um, probably uploading videos on this channel every single day, but it will definitely be be more frequent because there will be like this style of video where I'm just sitting here talking to the camera and kind of doing like an offline stream of consciousness. And um, I like to do that. I like to build the relationship. I like to give, I like to be here, okay? For a long time, I had to figure out who I was and what I stand for and what I'm about so that I could actually navigate through life. You know, so that's mostly what that was about, I think, uh, and uh, those videos, right? And discovering, you know, who I am and uh, what it is that I'm here to do and uh, why I want to do those things and all this other stuff. And so um, if you find yourself not having answered those questions for yourself, then that explains, uh, or maybe it doesn't explain. I'm not sure. It depends on your life situation. But if you want to, uh, answer those questions for yourself then I think the gateway experience is a great tool to use to uh, achieve that you know and tools can be used in different ways uh, and we all know those things you know it's like uh, when you hand somebody a hammer you can use it for multiple purposes you can use it to build a house or you can use it to uh, break a window you know and uh, I would much rather build the house with the tools that I have and um, yeah, that's what I'm doing. And uh, I've, you know, I don't own the house that I live in yet, but maybe one day we will. And uh, maybe one day, uh, maybe even tomorrow, I don't know, maybe tomorrow, just me talking to this camera, making a video can help you, okay? You who are watching this, maybe, maybe not, I don't know. But I'm going to be here either way because I know what I'm doing and who I am and what I'm going to be doing pretty much for the rest of my life. I think that's a very tough question and it requires a lot of time to answer because, you know, if I'm 26 now and I'm going to be living until I'm going to be 80 or 90 or 100 or 120 or whatever it is, then, I mean, I've only scratched the surface of the entirety of what my own personal life is going to be and my own consciousness experience here on this plane of earth and so how can i answer such a big question of like hey what am i going to be doing for the next 80 years potentially when i've only been alive for like 26 you know so it took me a while to go ahead and answer the, that question and i think you should take your time to answer that question you should not rush these things i think patience is something that needs to be learned and taught and all this other stuff um you know delayed gratification if you have a, a goal or a desire or something like that that you really really want um uh for, you have to know why you want it and uh yeah maybe me being here 
can actually impact a lot of people. Maybe, maybe, I don't know, maybe. I'm just saying, what if it is possible? What if it is possible that just by taking the action and actually showing up and making these videos for you, you know, there's always the doubts of like, hey, you know, maybe this is going into the void and it's a waste of energy, you know, oh no, whoa. But actually it's never a waste of energy because even if it doesn't help anybody but one person, then that's cool. I mean, that's good enough for me personally. That's what I think. Um, and even if that one person is myself, can you imagine? Like, I don't actually help anybody but myself. Like, that would not be very good, right? I would not like that personally. But, hey, you know what? Even that is better than nothing, you know? Even that, sharing and living in the light and taking action and failing, okay? Failing to impact the people that I would like to be able to help, you know? It's not like I even can. I don't even know if I can. I don't, I don't, I don't even have, have the ability to do it. I'm over here helping people with their groceries and, you know, helping them when their light switch goes out and they need to fix it, you know, okay, cool. Or their, their plug in their wall needs to be fixed. Okay, cool, great. But that's only like one or two people a day, you know, as far as the light, the electrician, handyman stuff goes. And then maybe like five, maybe sometimes more, 10 people um, when it comes to their groceries so they can eat. But other than that, I mean, like, come on, bro. I mean, like, I got to step up my game, you know? So what am I going to do? I got to do better. I got to spend more energy on it. I got to I gotta uh, refine the craft and everything else. Maybe, uh, I don't think I'm going to be editing these videos. So if you don't like them, then, I mean, it is what it is. Then don't watch them. Uh, but I will probably be spending most of my time because I only have so much in a day uh, editing the videos that I make with my son. Okay, so, you know, I got this microphone and everything, and I also want to talk about this other thing that, you know, I'm over here with this microphone and everything, and my most viewed video is on this channel is the one month patterning uh, video, and this video is like, bro, it's the crappiest video on my channel. It doesn't make any sense, okay, to me personally. But the ideas, that's what's the most important. It's not the crappiest in, in terms of the ideas, but the crappiest is the quality of the audio, the quality of the video, because I wasn't even in my own house. I was in my parents' house. But that, the one month patterning video that I made on this channel is my most viewed video. And, uh, and it makes sense because I think, and I know a lot of the culture that we live in is finding themselves in a situation where they want to take control of their lives, but they don't really know how right? Like they have these habits that they're not necessarily proud of. And, and I found myself in that situation as well. And eventually you come to a point where you're like, okay, enough is enough. And I want to do something about it. So then you go on YouTube or something and, uh, maybe you've alert, heard about the gateway experience and then you're like, hey, how can I do what I want to do for a month? Okay. Well, that's a great tool. The, the one month patterning tape by Bob Monroe and the gateway experience is a great tool. And what I did in that video is I just broke it down and explained it to people what it is that it does and how it relates to most people's experience of life where they are thinking about other people, thinking about not what they want to do, but thinking about drama. Okay. Thinking about why, and why is that? Because they are not aligned. Okay. They're not respecting the Holy Trinity of you know what it is, which is thoughts, feelings, and actions. If we're not aligned in those things, and there was points in my life where I was not aligned in those things, in my thoughts, my feelings, and actions, then, you know, the Son, the Father, and the Holy Spirit, or whatever it is, you know, and maybe for some people that don't know the connection of those two things, they might be thinking right now, like, okay, that, that just, you just lost me. But, you know, um, I'm not, I don't think this video is going to be about breaking that down because I'm already getting to the 20 minute mark, but I think what this video is going to be is just checking in with you guys and letting you guys know, like, look, I don't know what is going to help you the most, you know, uh, but I'm going to keep just putting things on this platform, which I'm very thankful that we have that can hopefully eventually help, uh, as much, as many people as I can, you know? Because that's, I mean, eventually, you know, I'm not going to be here anymore. And, 
I mean, what am I going to do? You know, I've, 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 man, there's so many different things I want to talk about. I'll, this is the last thing I'll talk about because I've been investing in myself this, this whole time that I've been quiet, you know, not posting any videos. But I, this is the last thing I want to talk about. And maybe tomorrow I won't be able to make a video because I've already talked about everything that I could have talk, talked about, you know, my, all my conscious, my stream of conscience here. And, um, I read this book. It was about uh, hypnotherapy, okay, and about uh, life between lives, okay. And this is kind of heady stuff, okay, but it's very also like uh, related to the gateway experience. So if you're a subscriber to my channel, I hope you can enjoy this. And it's about life between lives, and what it is is about people that go through hypnotherapy. And they regress, okay? They have these people go backwards in time through their memories, okay? So you go backwards from when you were, from where you are now, and then you can, if you can even remember. There was a point in my life when I started making these videos when I couldn't even remember. I, I would try to sit down and I would fall asleep because I was so overworked. I was working so much that I was only relating who I was to my physical body, okay? And it was all about survival. It was about paying the bills. It wasn't about anything else. It wasn't about the future or anything else. It was about now, I, can I survive today? Okay, thankfully, I'm not that person anymore. But if you are that person, then I would suggest that you go, I mean, bro, just just take a break, you know, just, just chill out. Just listen to your feelings and follow your feelings, follow your intuition, and eventually you'll come out of it. But anyway, life between lives, these people, they regress or the, through the hypnotherapy okay the hypnotist is sitting here and they're saying hey look can you remember when you were 12 years old okay can you remember i want you to be there right now be there and what's the first memory that comes up okay and then they're like okay well now go back to when you were eight years old and then they're like okay now go back to when you were three years old okay now go back to when you were in the womb okay your mother's womb okay now what do you see what do you experience what do you feel what do you smell what do you taste what do you sense you know whatever and then they say, okay, now go back to when you were before, before you were in your mother's womb. Like, wait a minute, what? What do you mean before I was in my mother's womb? What did, how does that make any sense? I, was, I wasn't even anything before I was in my mother's womb. How can you even try to get me to consider that? But the thing that's interesting is that for these patients, these people that are going through this experience, this life between lives experience, they remember okay they remember who they were before can you believe it it's amazing yeah i don't even know what to do about that because i haven't experienced that but i do i can at least imagine so that's what i'm asking you to imagine okay imagine that there was someone before you were in your mother's womb can you believe it i don't know if you can but here's the thing they asked them to not just go back to that point before they were in their mother's womb. They asked them to go back even before that. Can you imagine, where were you even before you were, even before you were in your mother's, like even before that, okay? Where were you? And they actually go into a different life. They go into a previous life where now they're a different person, okay? So I don't even know if I believe in this, but here's the thing. It doesn't matter whether I believe in it or not. It doesn't. Because I just like the idea, okay? The idea that this life, okay? This one life, my own personal life, okay? Is only a sliver of who and what I am. You are, okay? It's only one, a sliver. It's, you can't even, like, okay, there's no way for you to even be able to even imagine how much more you really are than your physical body because it's just not part it's not possible for your physical your physical apparatus that you're currently experiencing life through so you are you are that much more so just remember that some people when i was in that state before when i was like hey you know i'm just trying to survive okay look i probably would have ran through a wall Literally, I would have literally ran through some drywall and not cared about who was on the other side. Okay, I would have not cared 
about anything other than can I just survive? Because that's it's an instinctual mechanism that we have as human beings. It's about survival, and you know that's our physical body's uh, reaction. Okay, and this is also now that I'm I'm being aware of like what's going on right now. I'm thinking about this, and I'm realizing now because maybe because I've been doing the tapes for so long. But here's the thing that I'm realizing. Just just this just came to me right now as I'm talking. This is also the point where people never go ahead and experience the out of body experience. Okay, the out the OBE, the out of body experience. People don't ever get to that point where they can actually leave their bodies because of that survival instinct. Because if you can see yourself from outside of your body, you might think that you've died. Okay? You might think, oh, I die. Okay? And this is not an original thought. Okay? This is just a correlation that I'm making. This is something that I've heard from Bob Monroe. And it makes sense to me now. And it, it all just makes more sense now than it did before. So, um, yeah. I hope that uh, that can help uh, you as well to not associate yourself with just your body or whatever and just know that everything's going to be okay everything you know that type of thing okay i think that's enough because if i just said the whole thing everything's going to be okay i feel like i'm talking to my son or something anyway all right i think that's uh that's all i'm going to say peace